Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. We know that air is a mixture of gases, right? But what is air actually made up of? That is what we are going to discuss in today's video. That is constituents of air, air a mixture of gases. Now friends, we say that air is generally composed of different gases, right? So let's first look at the proportion of different gases that are present in the air by volume. So if you look at the composition of air, you will notice that about 78% of the air is made up of nitrogen. That is by volume, remember. Whereas air consists of about 21% of oxygen by volume and the rest 1% consists of other gases. Which are these other gases? These other gases constitute carbon dioxide and what is the proportion? It is 0.03 to 0.04 percent. Inert gas is 0.9 percent whereas the proportion of water vapor, dust particles and impurities in air is variable. That is this proportion depends upon place to place and time to time. Now as we said that air is a mixture of gases, right? There are many confirmatory evidences which actually confirm that air is a mixture of gases. The first evidence is composition of air varies from place to place. For example, in summer season, the rate of evaporation is quite high, right? So that is why we feel the hot climate. Whereas in the rainy season, the rate of precipitation is high and so the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere is high. What about a pleasant season? You would say a pleasant season is the one wherein the amount of water vapor in the air is balanced. Whereas in the winter season, water vapor freezes and so we are able to enjoy the snowfall. So here we can see that the composition of air varies from place to place. And we know that the composition of a compound is fixed, right? Which means that air is a mixture as its composition varies. The next evidence, no energy change occurs when components of air are mixed together. Now friends, when we mix different components of air, no energy change takes place. Whereas during the formation of compound, exchange of energy takes place. This proves that air is a mixture of gases. Now the next evidence we have is the components of air retain their individual properties. Whether it is oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, carbon dioxide gas which is present in the atmosphere, all these components retain their individual properties. Whereas in a compound, the components do not retain their individual properties. This proves that yes, air is a mixture. Also, air cannot be represented by any formula, right? But we can easily represent a compound by formula. For example, water, right? Water is a compound. Water is represented by the formula H2O, right? And so we say that air is a mixture since it cannot be represented by any formula. Also, the components of air can be easily separated by simple physical methods. Whereas the components of a compound cannot be separated by physical methods. So friends, these evidences confirm that air is a mixture of gases. Now friends, in order to prove that air is a mixture of gases, there was a scientist named Antony Levoiser who in the year 1774 carried out an experiment which is known as Levoiser's experiment. What did he do? He simply proved that nitrogen and oxygen are the main constituents of air. Let us see how did he do this. Let's look at the assembly that he used for this experiment. So what did he do is, he took a retort and in this retort, he took some amount of mercury. And what did he simply do is, he simply heated this mercury in the retort. Now you can observe over here that, the other end of the retort enters into a bell jar which is actually placed in a container which is filled with mercury. Now, Antony Levoiser observed that when he burned this mercury, that is on heating the mercury, he observed that the level of mercury in the bell jar increases, it rises. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.